I was told that there was a, a stolen car close to junction 14 uh, of the M25 heading uh, towards the Chertsey direction. Uh, me and my colleague on that day uh, made to junction 11 and sat up uh, waiting to see if we could spot the car. There was quite a lot of traffic on the slip road that day uh, which we had held up. Uh, you can see in the video my colleague's hand uh, extending out to try and stop the traffic. Uh, and I thought that the amount of traffic that was there, uh, the, the stolen car would have had to have got stuck in the traffic uh, and we would have been able to uh, arrest and detain him at the side of the road um, in, a, in a safe manner. Unfortunately, it turns out uh, he forced his way through the traffic, then mounting the kerb that you can see in the video uh, and striking the back of the police car. And I remember thinking, this is going to be close. Uh, and, and then all of a sudden, all I remember is I'm in the air, uh, looking down at the tarmac ground, um, thinking, oh dear, this hasn't turned out the way it, it was planned. Somehow got back up onto my feet and thinking, oh, this is, <laughs> I'm slightly better off than I thought I was. Uh, looked at the BMW and could see um, uh, Lee Adamson running away from it uh, and so uh, sort of went back into police mode rather than sort of normal people mode and decided that it was time to go and arrest someone who had put the public in danger. He ran down an embankment uh, and tried to climb over a fence uh, and as he's climbing over the fence I've got close enough to him uh, where he's tried to, to kick out at me. Uh, thankfully he missed because it would have probably been about my head that it hit um, and at that point uh, it was when I drew my taser and, uh, and tasered him in the back. I stepped aside uh, as I was in quite a lot of pain by then, the adrenaline had worn off um, and uh, it was really starting to hurt.